Alright boys, what's up? So in today's video, we're gonna be exploring this abandoned prison right behind us. So it's a super dope location, so I'm gonna give you guys a little info about the place. So the place actually closed in 2008, and I've already scouted the location, and just by seeing what's inside, it's kept in absolute great condition. Like, no vandals have been here or anything. It's honestly like, just from telling, looking at the prison, you can't really tell it's abandoned. So it's gonna be a super dope video, so let's get into it, boys. Okay, so right here is the door we came in, boys. So just so you know, this was already like this when we came in. We didn't do anything. I wouldn't come in here if I had to break anything to get in because that'd be really stupid. I also didn't see any no trespassing signs, so just so you guys know. But right here is gonna be the visitation room, so you're gonna come in through these doors right here. You'll probably check in right here with the receptionist. And then you'd be escorted through these gates. And over here, I believe, is going to be like just a little waiting room area because the visiting rooms are going to be over down that way. So in here is a little waiting room. I'm sure they had vending machines lined up right there. You got your bathrooms over here. So after checking in over there, you'd come down this hall if your inmate was a high priority inmate. And this is where you would talk to them. So this is going to be the gated window you would talk to your loved one through. Right here you have the phone you would talk on. And then on the other side would be where the inmates would be. It's, it's kind of crazy to think that like this was really some people's reality on how they would have to talk to their loved ones. Like how sad would it be if you literally had to talk to someone through glass covered bars. Like that is the most depressing shit I have heard in a long ass time dude. All right guys, so that's enough of this room, so let's go explore some other rooms. All right guys, so right now we're in the yard of the prison. So right here is where all the prisoners would go and they'd play soccer, they'd lift weights and they'd conversate. So it's pretty desolate out here, as you can see. They didn't have a lot to do at all. I mean, it is a prison. They kind of deserve that. But yeah, let's get to exploring some more stuff, boys. So right here at these tables, boys, prisoners would eat their food they'd get for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then right behind us is gonna be the kitchen. So in the kitchen, that's where they would make all the food for the prisoners to eat for every day. Oh, let's get to exploring. So right now, boys, we're in the cafeteria. Look at this, dude. So right here's where the guard would sit and take and watch over the prisoners as they ate. There's literally quite nothing in there. You've got the tables they were all they would eat at. Where they would line up with their food. Yeah. This, this is where they'd line up to get their food. Over there you've got the condiments table, I guess. I didn't think prisoners got condiments, but I mean, that's cool. Good for them. And in here, boys, we've got the kitchen. So right here is where the prisoners would make food for the other prisoners. And I believe they started kitchen duty at three or four in the morning to make breakfast. So they'd be here literally from like three in the morning till like seven or eight at night. Like it's ridiculous. In here, we've got another walk-in freezer area. This is kind of... So this, would just, this was just one giant freezer right here. They've got all their food stuff on the walls, all their napkins and stuff. Oh, they've got storage stuff in here. Dude, they've got shampoo bottles still. You got some good old... They've got some prison shampoo right here. <laughs> I'm gonna take back what I said earlier. I don't think this was the storage room for the food area. I think this was just anything that didn't need to be frozen was stored here for like prisoner goods type thing. In here you've got an office. In here you have an office. All right, so that's gonna be all it for the cafeteria. That was super tight, but now let's get to another building, boys. So we'll see you in the next building. All right, guys, so right now we're in the gymnasium of the prison. So in here, prisoners would play basketball, weightlift. The weights are behind you guys, though. Or they just come in here and watch the games going on. So again, there's not really much to say about the gymnasium here. So let's just explore the place, boys. All right, boys, so right here's the gym. So you got your basketball over there, the bleachers to watch. Another basketball hoop right over here boys is the cool part. So they have all their weightlifting equipment here And like honestly this weightlifting equipment is nicer than the equipment that's at my school Like I have no idea why they just left this all here. Like look at this It's not even scratched. It's just covered in dust Like this is so crazy. They got some school desks back there all right, so I think that's really all that's on the ground level. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and get into the go the booth that's up above. So we're gonna go up the stairs now. So let's get it, boys. All right, boys, so we just walked up these stairs that are right here and look at this second floor right here. I'm not really sure what this was up here, 
because it's just a bunch of empty rooms up here. But let me let me show you the cool part, boys. All right. So we found a ladder. Hey, what's up? All right, boys. So here's that ladder. But in here is the cool part. So right here is a guard tower where they can watch over the entire yard through this window right here. So right here they've got the rifle rack, so where they'd hold the rifles and stuff like that. And then over here they've got the toilet, so in case they got to take a shit, they can take a shit and still watch the prisoners. And funny enough, they could also take a shit and shoot one of the prisoners if need be. So it's super tight up here. Look, they even got a sink, the Motel 6 air conditioning going on. But boys, this is the cool part right here. So it also has roof access too. So we can get on the roof of the prison. And look at this. You got the whole view of the prison right here. You've got the washroom, the infirmary, cafeteria, visiting room, the library over here, and then all down here are cell blocks. Okay, so in here, as you can see, it's the yard labor. This is probably for all the uh, like the good inmates that actually got a job. They'll probably get paid for this. But in here, they got all like uh, all their shovels or rakes, just stuff to clean up the yard. Just look at that. Manual labor stuff. Look at that boy, he's got a weed whacker over there, fucking chainsaw right there, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> they got so much shit here, dude. And it looks all brand new too, like none of this stuff has really been used, like look. No rust, nothing, like all the grips are perfect. Just, like everything's brand new in here, you can tell like this, like this hasn't really been abandoned for long. But it's yet, boys, it's been abandoned since 2008. This is gonna be like a little area where they have all their like tools and stuff like that for like working on their, I don't know, their fucking carts or whatever. Look at this, right here they've got the couches and stuff, boys. Then over here they've got some filing cabinet stuff over here and then look in here, boys, this is the coolest part. Electricity. Ele yeah, there's electricity in here too, boys. It's cool, they got all the tools traced out or the inmates would put them back. So that way they know if someone, didn't, if someone stole one of the tools or not. But the crazy part is, look at this. They got bats. They got gloves. So that means they had them doing something here. Like, if, for all the good inmates, they could come and they would have at least something to do in their free time. It was probably for their rec yard, for like they'd play baseball or whatever. Because look at this, boys. They've got. Oh, I'm not touching that. There's a bunch of mouse shit on that. But they've got like a whole bag of, of gloves in there. They got wiffle ball bats up here. Just to, like fun stuff that they could do to pass the time. Oh, yeah, so and all then they ball got buckets. Is time in here. All right guys, so right now we're in an abandoned infirmary of the prison. So this is where prisoners would go to get medical attention or, you know, get a band-aid, I guess, or whatever. So let's start exploring through this, boys. All right, boys, so right here is the reception office, a desk. So this is where the receptionist would sit. And look, she's even got her phone right here. Look at this, dude. Nope, there's no service. And then right here we have the cells for all the prisoners who would be in the infirmary so they could stay overnight here. They took out the beds and everything already, but if you walk through here, they've got their toilets in here. And then in here, we've got another examining room. This, I believe, is where they would do some, where they'd show the x-rays, because I know that's one of the machines, right? That's one of the things they use to display the x-ray results. And then over here, boys, this is the cool part right here. Oh, there's my tripod right there. Over here we've got the x-ray room. So this is where prisoners would go if they broke a bone or something and they needed x-rays. You've got the x-ray table right here, the x-ray machine. I don't know what that is. It's pretty tight though. And then back here is the room. Over right here is the room where they would, the person shooting the x-rays would be. All right, boys, so right now we're in the laundry room. So in here, prisoners who were on laundry detail or had laundry as their job, they would take the other prisoners' clothes in here and they'd have to clean them, which is a super shitty job, dude. That would absolutely suck to have to clean other prisoners' underwear and shit. But anyways, so we're in the laundry room right now. Let's get to exploring, boys. All right, boys. So right here, they've got a bunch of old computers and shit and some old fire extinguishers and some more bed mats over there. Look at that. Over here, it looks like they got the sewing machine. They got like the uh, presses, like for oh. ironing and stuff. Yeah, they got their hot presses right here. Right here, I would imagine, is where a guard would sit just to watch over everyone. So right here, boys, we have the washers. The washers are actually still running, which is kind of creepy. But look at this, dude. Can we open it? I don't know how to open that either. But they've got their washing machines here. Oh, we can open this one. 
And then over here, boys, they've got the heavy duty dryers right here. So this one's still on too, but let's see if we can open it. Yeah. But in here was just where they'd dry the clothes and stuff like that. So there wasn't too much in this building. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go head over to the cell block and we'll see you guys there. All right guys, so right now we're in the cell block. So here prisoners would sleep and conversate and shower. So there's really not much to tell about the cell block. Other than that, let's get to exploring boys. All right boys, so right now we're in the cell block. So this one's separated from the rest of the cell block. So I think this is protective custody because look at the doors right over there. Like if you look on the doors, it says PC. So I believe this is protective custody in here. But just so you guys get an idea of what we're dealing with. Look at these cells, dude. I think they were four person cells on the bottom level and two on the top. But yeah, you can tell the size difference of the four people cell and the two person cells. Like the, four, the two person ones you can almost touch end to end. The four person ones you got a little bit more room to breathe. So in here, boys, we have the shower room. So right here was like the bigger area for shower for showering. You've got the handle still right there. And then in here, I believe this was another shower area because you've got a drain down there and a little rack to hold your soap. So you don't drop it, but um. <laughs> so in here boys is where the guards would sit. And so this is like the control center for the prison. So right here you can see where they had all the switches for the prisoner's cells. So like if you would flip a switch, I'm not gonna do it. But if you'd flip a switch, one of the cell doors would unlock. So if you look at it, they still have the, they still have the names underneath all the switches and everything, dude. And then in here, we have another cell block. So we explored the bottom level on the last one, so we'll go upstairs for you guys in this one. So I believe this was a normal cell block right here because I, this doesn't say protective custody or anything on the doors. They have numbered doors unlike in the other cell block. Whereas in the other cell block, they had the protective custody or PC on the doors. So this right here is gonna be a normal cell block, I'm pretty sure. I tried to find the floor layout for this prison so I could actually know what every room was to tell you guys, but obviously that wasn't online because that'd be pretty stupid to put the floor plans of a prison online. But in here we have another cell. We've got their toilet, their sink, beds. Just a couple cells. All right, so in this cell block, boys, they have tile in here, dude. These prisoners were killing the game, dude. They had it all set up in there. And then right here, you have the shower for this cell block right here. Same setup as the last one. They've got where the shower head would be. So this was like the main showering area right here. And then I think those ones were like separate little shower areas too. All right, so that's the end of the shoot, boys. See you later, abandoned prison. Oh, thanks. And... We're free again, boys. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the video right there. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more dope shit like this. Because, boys, let's be honest, there aren't very many YouTube channels where you're gonna see people explore a fucking abandoned prison that isn't completely destroyed. So make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see y'all next video. Peace. What's this